And now for the ultimate challenge. One last chance for either of the teams to win. You've got 60 seconds to answer 10 questions in the category of your choice. Every correct answer is worth 50 points. Although you're allowed to work as a team, I shall only respond to the first answer given. It's a close run thing. The score now stands at 260 points for Malawi Adventist University against 270 for Jomo Kenyatta University, Kenya. But it's still anyone's game because the ultimate challenge is worth 500 points. Malawi Adventist University, you're behind, so you play first. Remember, the ultimate challenge is the ultimate choice. Have a look at our four final categories, and they are the last word in African titles, M posing, great seals, historic battles in Africa. M posing. M posing it is. Take a deep breath, gentlemen. Which word or name that begins with M is in seconds away what a cartographer makes? Map. That is correct. Second president of Kenya. Moi. Yes. Alanga, Colobus or Vervet. Pass. The royal son of the Queen of Sheba. Pass. An autobiography. Pass. Subterranean molten rock. Magma. Yes. Four time FIFA Women's Player of the Year. Pass. The capital of Oman. Pass. A large painting on a wall. Miriam. Yes. The Nobel laureate author of The Bluest Eye. Pass. A langa colobus of vervet. Pass. Pass. The royal son of the Queen of Sheba. Mohammed. No. An autobiography. Pass. Four time FIFA Women's Player of the Year. Mata. Yes. The capital of Oman. Mike. No. The Nobel laureate, author of The Bluest Eye. Pass. <sighs> Time's up. You answered five questions correctly, giving you a total of 250 in the ultimate challenge and a grand total of 510. Let's look at the ones that you got wrong. A colobus vervet monkey, son of the Queen of Sheba, Menelik. Autobiography or memoir, the capital of Oman, Muscat. And finally, the bluest eye author, Tony Morrison. Jomo Kenyatta University, Kenya, you are now 240 points behind, and you need five, five correct answers in order to win. Which category of the remaining three might you choose? Historic battles in Africa. Historic battles in Africa it is. <clears throat> Take a deep breath, gentlemen. Identify the modern day African nation that was the location of these important clashes. And seconds away, Isandlawa, where Zulu. South Africa. Africa. Yes. Sundiata's great victory at Karina. Pass. Kurito Kualaval, where Cubans fought South Africa. Tanzania. No. 1961, Operation. DRC. DRC. Yes. The 1880s. Tunisia. Tunisia. No. 1896, Italians were still Ethiopia. Yes. Herreros fought Germans at the 1904 Battle of Waterloo. Namibia. Yes. The World War II Battle of El Alamein. Algeria. No. The World War I Battle of the Bees. Tanzania. The Bees. Tanzania. Yes. Portugal's king was killed at 1578 Battle of the Three Kings. Uh, Mozambique. No. Sundiata's great victory at Carina. Senegal. No. Quito Kwa Naval. Angola. Angola. Yes. The 1880s Battle Egypt. of the Egypt. No. The World War II Morocco. Battle. Morocco. No. Portugal's king was killed in this 15th Guinea Bissau. No. Sundiata's great victory at Carina. Mali. Yes. The 1880s Battle of El Libya. 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 No. The World War II Egypt. Battle. Egypt. Egypt. Yes. Portugal. Algeria, Libya. Libya. <laughs> A very, very close run thing. But with eight correct answers in the ultimate challenge for a total of 400 points and a grand total of 670, Jomo Kenyatta University, Kenya, is the winner of today's Zane Africa Challenge. <laughs> Let's have a look at the ones that you got wrong. El Teb in the Sudan, the Battle of the Three Kings in Morocco, that's it. Malawi Adventist University, we have to very sadly say goodbye to you. You'll be taking away 1,000 US dollars each, plus 10,000 US dollars as an institutional grant for your university. 
Jomo Kenyatta University, Kenya, well done, well won. We look forward to seeing you in the quarterfinals. You're still in the running to take away the prestigious Zane Scholars Trophy and as outright winners, 5,000 US dollars each and 50,000 US dollars for your university, all courtesy of Zane. In our next game, Copper Belt University Zambia takes on the University of Sierra Leone in the international inter-university battle of reigns that is the Zane Africa Challenge 2010. From all of us here, it's bye-bye till next time. <laughs>